This exercise is with a piece of paper and it relates to communication. Each participant is given a piece of paper about this size and they're asked to just hold on to it. What I'm giving them instructions for is to, you don't ask any questions, you just follow what I say. So, first of all, hold it up in your left hand. Ooh, good, we got everyone. Now let's try our right hand. Well, that's great, now we've got everybody. Okay, you're following instructions very well. Now what I want you to do is to fold the paper in half. Fold it in half, then fold it over the other way in half. Then, oh, why not, let's fold it again. So everybody has it like this, right? Oh, don't look confused, just, just hang in there. Now the next one is, this is important, we're gonna tear off a little piece of paper here and let's put it in our pocket. We don't want to toss it on the ground. And oh, why don't we start over here? And you know what? We're going to have everybody with the same looking snowflake. So we're going to open it up. There we are. What happened? They're all different. Why? Yes. Well, you were talking too fast. Oh, okay, so I have to slow down, right. Could you mention either you turn it to your right or to your left instead of just testing up in the air and tearing a corner? That would really help. The other one is you were moving too fast, but you never gave us time to catch up. And you never gave us time to ask questions to make sure we were on the right track. So, when we look at this, what do we see? We see the teacher learning from the students, but the idea here is that so many times we do things that people already know, so why not give them a chance to share what they have learned back and then how you can take it from there up another step. Remember? How do we show appreciation? We take our piece of paper and we say, that tears me up.